Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we are going to be talking about how I've doubled my money in uh, cryptocurrency and my strategy um, kind of going forward, how I'm learning all this, uh, who I'm learning it from, uh, and basically how I'm going to make a lot more money using crypto but not in just the way that you might think of just buying and holding Bitcoin. That's not what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to take you for it. Obviously, disclaimer, don't take my advice, all that sort of stuff. Uh, not a financial advisor. Just, just go and do your own research. Um, but make sure you subscribe to turn notifications on. I PayPal people up to uh, £25 three times a week. So you need to be subscribed, comment down below, and of course, like the videos as well. Uh, you never know, we might have something special for Christmas as well. Maybe, maybe not maybe so if you remember last week maybe maybe kind of a week and a half ago i did a video about cryptocurrency about what i'm doing what i'm not doing and i showed you this picture okay this is a picture i showed you it's going to turn up right here just now <laughs> it's great isn't it it's great uh so as you can see here this is in pounds so uh 1242 pounds worth which is which is about uh, let's actually see what that is, 242. So it's about $1,660. Um, I now am doing everything in either dollars or Bitcoin value. So um, quite quite a fair amount, which is good. In terms of the amount of money I've put into it, I worked this out the other day, I've put about $1,300 into it. So $1,300 in, uh, which is oh, $1,300. Yes, yeah, so it's just under a thousand pounds. So I've put a thousand pounds in. At that point, I made a tiny bit, not a huge amount. It's only been a week, about a week and a half or something like that. Um, I've made a couple of other trades and I want to show you what I've, I've made that into. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do is, is show you that. So on the other side, here we go. There's the other one. Make sure I stay in the middle. Again, that's in dollars. So uh, again, that is going to be uh, about £3,000. Okay, so as you can see, I've been able to double my investment within the space, well, not, not that long at all. There are a few differences though. So if you want to compare the two here, well, I need to, where am I in the middle? Okay, so if you look, Bitcoin uh, is a little bit different. I've moved some of that around. Uh, Litecoin, I purchased an extra Litecoin. So I've, I've added, the only money I've added to this was about $200 in Litecoin. So these Litecoins here, I purchased for about $100 each. I did have Litecoin before that, which I purchased for $50, but I moved it into one of these other ones. I can't remember which one. So I did purchase one extra Litecoin, which uh, was there. But as you can see, Litecoin, I did say this on the video that it was gonna go up. Um, I might have said it, I might have said something similar, but that was why I was buying it. And literally uh, that day or the day, I think the day after, it completely went crazy. And as you can see, that, which is, which is about $400, uh, Sorry, that's $400. It's now gone up to $1,436. So I paid $400 and I've made $1,000 just on that Litecoin, which is which is crazy. So that's absolutely crazy. For a beginner to be able to make that much money from a small investment on cryptocurrency is pretty cool. Uh, I really enjoy doing this now. Bitcoin, uh, I've actually moved some of this Bitcoin, so I haven't added to my position on Bitcoin. Um, of course, it's gone up in value. So it went from 11,000 uh, pounds up to about, well, whatever that is. So. Uh, something this is I should have kept it all a 13 and a half no about 14,000 pounds so it's gone up it's gone up a little bit since since then which is quite cool but as you can see the things that have moved around is neo so I have neo uh, I had 1.47 neo uh, and the value of that they were about 25 pounds each so I had about 37 pounds worth in total whereas now I've added actually five neo to that because I believe it's going to go up um, a bit more significant I'm going to discuss why I think this in a minute I'm going to show you the charts and everything uh, ethereum has of course gone a bit mental uh, omg is probably a bit undervalued as well my civic has gone up I've held this for a long long time and that's the first time it's actually been profitable because it's, it's been if you look at the chart it's just been doing nothing for like the last uh, kind of few months and um, so that's pretty cool and then just whatever some bitcoin gold bosom but the main thing is that the litecoin is absolutely it's gone crazy ethereum is kind of going a bit crazy as well and, and i believe the next ones to do that are going to be neo and omg now uh, let me take these off the screen i'm going to explain explain how i've how i've been able to do this um, and how you can too okay because again i want to show you what i've been doing i want to show you what i'm going to be doing some things today some things over the next few months and how i'm learning it who i'm learning it from 
and um, how I plan to make this into you know 30 grand, into 50 grand, into 100 grand, because I do want to make as much money from this as possible. I'm in the game of making money. I want to make money. That's the thing I want to do. This is what my channel is about. It's about being an entrepreneur. It's about having different sources of income. And this is going to be, it's not right now, but it's going to be one of my sources of income in the future. At the moment, it's an investment strategy to the point where I can uh, pay myself, okay? Uh, we didn't want to lock that. So let's get, rid, let's get rid of these and let's share my screen. So here I am in this kind of weird tunnel, tunnel effect. But what I wanted to explain to you guys is um, why I, for example, why I bought more Neo. And I don't have a huge investment, so don't hate on me because I'm not like a massive crypto baller. Um, but I've got enough that I think I'm going to make money. And the reason being is that if you go onto coinmarketcap.com, and this just basically has um, the 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 charts for pretty much you know all, all the cryptocurrencies that you can that you can have a look at. Um, and if you scroll down, I've actually got it on on night mode. The only reason being is I'm colorblind. I kind of struggle to see. Uh, I struggle to see the difference between these two colors. Okay. Um, but what we're looking at is this orange line here. Now the thing that you've got to you've got to be aware of if you're not into cryptocurrencies too much, um, or if you're just getting started. You don't really want to think about the USD value, okay? So the value against the, the dollar. What you really want to look at is the value against Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is, is king. That's really what decides the market. So as you can see here, this orange line, we're looking at NEO at the moment. It Back in, I guess, um, kind of August, I think that is, or maybe early September, it was all-time highs against Bitcoin, right? You see up there all-time highs against Bitcoin. And then it's been kind of slowly dropping since then to the point where it's it's kind of at its lowest point since since really, I think, these two times here. It's its lowest points against Bitcoin. So that means, basically, against Bitcoin, it's undervalued. And you can see here, over the past, uh, kind of, basically the past week, it's really, it started at the beginning of last week, um, about, you know, a few days ago. It started to go back up again because people have realized, hang on a minute, Bitcoin's, Bitcoin's been going mental recently. A lot of these alternate coins are now undervalued because they haven't had the same love. So what's going to probably happen now, I don't know. No one can tell the future. Um, but what I think is going to happen is that a lot of people will be now be moving a lot of their investments into some of the alternate coins, which will then push the price up and get them to a point where they are more relative to the, the price of Bitcoin of what they've been in the past. Because you know, they, they went down to all time lows really down here against Bitcoin. As you can see the actual, the dollar amount, okay, the dollar amount is, is high, is highest I think it's ever been. But the Bitcoin value is not the highest ever been. So that's why I bought only five, I only bought five extra NEO and I put a buy, I basically bought them at, um, it was about 400,000 Satoshi, which you can see was a kind of around that mark there. And I put actually a sell order in for 800,000 Satoshi. So that would bring it up to uh, back where it was kind of around this sort of part here, so a high point. Again, I'm a buy and hold, so I'm not going to, I'm not trying to trade this quickly. I bought it because I think it's undervalued and I'm going to sell it if it gets up to like an all time, maybe not an all time high, but one of the highest points it's ever been valued against Bitcoin. And that's going to automatically sell if it ever, if, if it ever gets to that point. And that means I'm going to double the amount of Bitcoin that I invested, which is what I want to do. I want to, I want to stack more Bitcoin, um, in as many ways as possible. And that's going to be through doing little trades. I'm not swing trading or anything like that. I'm doing trades which I think will pay off in the long run uh, over the you know over the space of weeks, months, if not years. Um, so I think that's a, uh, that's a good investment personally for me. Again, don't, don't take my advice. Please don't take my advice. Just go and look into this yourself. I will um, explain again in a, in a minute uh, how you can get support for this. Um, I'm going to explain that in a minute. And this is why, this is the exact reason that I bought Litecoin. Okay, So if you look at Litecoin uh, over the last month, we're going to do exactly the same thing. And when I bought it, it was, it was kind of around here, I believe. Where was it? No, it was, I bought it around here. Okay, I did initially buy some ages ago, but I sold it. So I bought it around here. The reason being is because if you look at this, the value against Bitcoin had just dropped because Bitcoin was going up. So that 
was the opportune time to buy Litecoin because it is undervalued, which means it's undervalued against Bitcoin. And from that point, as you can see, it's absolutely gone mental. Uh, it's kind of recovering a little bit now and a little bit more steady. Um, but that's why I bought Litecoin and I've been able to make $1,000 worth relatively. I haven't cashed out, but because I bought it at the lowest point, which is really, really cool. Well, low, lowest point within the last you know, month. So that's why I bought Litecoin. And equally, now Ethereum is, again, kind of recovering again in terms of its value against Bitcoin. So you can see it was dropping, 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 dropping as Bitcoin was going up. And now it's kind of, it, it, it might again start that rise again. The dollar value, yes, is going up. The coin market cap is going up. Um, but the actual value against Bitcoin, again, is starting to recover to a point where it's the valuation of what it should be, which is why we've seen Litecoin go from $100 to $350, why we've seen Ethereum go from, uh, what was it like? Uh, yeah, $300, $400 up to $800. That's why it's because it's an undervalued coin compared to Bitcoin. So these are the, the they're the kind of, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin, they're the big ones. And obviously everything is based of, upon normally Bitcoin and Ethereum in terms of the valuation. Um, I would like to buy some more NEO, but I'm not gonna do just yet because I'm doing other things with my money, okay? The next thing I'm doing is later today in two hours, I will be buying um, not, not a huge amount, just a little amount of Ucoin cash. The reason being is that they have an ICO. I wasn't able to get into the ICO. I tried every single time. Uh, they did it every three days. I was never able to get tokens, which I'm quite annoyed about. And as you can see, you uh, people were buying them. I literally tried nearly every single one of these. I didn't get any. These were each um, times where you could buy every three days. And you can see it's going up to around the $1, uh, well, just over $1. However, people on forums, they're kind of buying them for around $9, $10 or so. So it could be worth, could be worth $10. It could be worth $20 as soon as the exchange opens later today. I don't really know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna pretty much buy as soon as it opens because I'm hoping to make a little bit extra Ethereum. So I, I actually have sent over Ethereum, only again, a tiny amount of Ethereum. No, that's not my Ethereum, that's just how much it's worth. So I've put over a little bit of Ethereum and the plan is here to trade the Ucoin Cash um, coin so I can make more Ethereum. That's the goal. I don't really want Ucoin, I don't wanna hold on to Ucoin Cash tokens. I want to, take the tokens as there's a lot of hype around it because you couldn't even buy the tokens on the ICO is then trade them where, you know, if I can double my money, double, sorry, double my Ethereum, then that'd be fantastic. I will then transfer that back to Ethereum and use that, use basically those profits for more ICOs. And this is really what I want to get into on today's video because something that has been pulled to my attention is ICOs, initial coin offerings, and if you don't know what that, what that is, it's when there's a, basically a, a coin, a cryptocurrency coin that's coming to market and uh, you, can, you can opt into it before it ever hits any of the exchanges, like you know, Coinbase is an exchange, uh, Bittrex is an exchange. So it's, it's kind of like a pre-sale in that sense. And if, for example, I bought some Bitcoin at $10,000 and I've held it for you know, a month, two months, that ICO is, has then become cheaper for me. If I buy 1,000 tokens and they go up in price, I've been able to do that cheaper because I bought the Bitcoin ages ago than if I was to buy the Bitcoin straight away. So my long-term goal is as soon as Bitcoin or Ethereum, these are the two ones I'm really looking at, as soon as they dip in any way, I'll buy as much as I can and then hold that Ethereum and hold that Bitcoin for ICOs so I can put money into initial coin offerings to 10x to 20x my money because that's how you go from you know $500 investment to becoming $10,000, $20,000 within a very, very short space of time. And um, so that's, that's how I plan to make money using crypto, but it's all gonna go back to you know, how much is your money worth in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Those are, the, those are the main things which dictate how much I can actually make from this. So judging Bitcoin doesn't completely plummet, uh, we, should, we should be all right. Um, now there's a few, there's a few resources that, that I've been using. The main one is um, a human being, okay, a human being, because I, I am not super, super knowledgeable, knowledgeable 
about all of this. I would say I'm a, I'm a beginner, okay? Uh, I would say, I'm, yeah, I, would, I definitely say I'm a beginner. I got involved in August this year. That's when I bought my first kind of um, share of Bitcoin. And the reason I did that is because of my friend, Anwar Griffiths, okay? Cheese Chaser, you, many of you will know him if you've been on my channel for a while. Um, and he started to get involved with it. And I've always wanted to buy Bitcoin. I just kind of never really knew how to do it. And uh, he was just basically taught me through it. And since then, he's been mentoring me on this sort of stuff. And actually, he's been teaching me pretty much everything I know about this and, and what to look out for, how to analyze the charts, how to look for ICOs, um, how to see if they're going to be a good one or not. Uh, and there's, there's too much information to go through now. Um, but one of the big things that, that he said that stuck in my mind, and I actually wrote this down while I was talking to him, is the longer you don't buy Bitcoin or Ethereum, or Litecoin, uh, the more you have to pay for an ICO. And ICOs is where you can make some of the biggest returns. That's the biggest returns on your investments. There's a few guys you can look at for this. If you go onto YouTube and Instagram, uh, and basically, for God's sake, if you type in um, Ian, what's his surname? Ian Bellina. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can put his link in the description. I think we can manage the link in the description, but go to his, his YouTube and he only does ICOs. That's his only thing. And he's been able to turn 200 grand into 1.5 million within like two months. It's, it's, like, it's crazy. Don't quote me on that. Just have a check on his Instagram and you'll be able to see his, his screenshots. Um, and he only does ICOs and he's got this really cool um, kind of spreadsheet you can look at. And anyway, there's loads of stuff. Um, but that, that's, that's what Amara has been kind of teaching me. And I'm getting to the point now where I'm becoming a lot more knowledgeable so that I can actually play around with my money a little bit more and not feel so daunted by it and kind of not knowing what to do. So what I would say, guys, if you want to learn more about this, um, don't come to me for it because you're not going to get the, the, the kind of best help possible. Uh, I can tell you what I'm doing, but in terms of like looking out for the future, I'm really going based upon what other people are doing because, again, I just don't... I don't yet know enough. So what I would say to you, and I'm, I'm kind of planting the seed here because this isn't something that he's announced, but um, he's said it's okay for me to talk about it on this video, is that he will, well, he does do one-to-one -one coaching. So if you want to go to his YouTube channel, uh, I'll put his link down below. And if you want to reach out to him, he's got his social links there. Then he does do one-to-one -one coaching on this. And I do believe he's going to be doing some sort of mastermind, kind of literally one-to-one -one mentorship and kind of hand-holding. Um, particularly with ICOs and hand selecting ICOs to invest in to, you know, literally 10x, 20x your money. So if, if you want to go and do that, um, I would really kind of highly suggest you go and speak to him um, because he's going to, he's basically the person that's teaching me everything and he knows a huge amount that some of it just goes over my head and I haven't got to that point yet, but I understand where he's at and uh you know he he's going to do quite he's already done pretty well on crypto anyway and on his channel he'll be doing a lot more uh in terms of you know analyzing uh kind of good investments for the future so yeah check that out um, you know he probably will release some digital products around this but uh i i particularly know that he's looking to actually mentor people to to, to make money in crypto so if you want to be that person uh, go and do it he has he is again if we look at these guys if we look at these the only reason I got these coins, the only reason is because he helped me do it. So I've been able to make, I've been able to double my money because he helped me do it. If I, if he didn't, if he didn't originally speak to me about it, if he didn't help me through it, I wouldn't have bought Litecoin. I literally would not have that Litecoin. I wouldn't have OMG. I wouldn't have Neo. Uh, I probably wouldn't even have Ethereum. I might even not have Bitcoin. I don't even know. Um, and you know, all of those have gone up, which is which is like fantastic. So thank you, Anwar, for, uh, for helping me out with that. Um, hopefully we can send some people your way um, if, they do want, if they do want to get help. But I would say for me personally, I, I, I can only share what I've done rather than, I'm, again, I'm not extremely knowledgeable on this yet. I'm looking to learn more and more and more. Uh, but as you guys know, I, I do spend a lot of time researching lots of things um, and I'm kind of super busy with basically questions about mostly Amazon affiliate marketing. Um, so yeah, maybe once once a week, I'm going to continue to do these videos, give you a little update, show you what I'm doing. Um, by by no means take this as financial advice. Obviously, disclaimer in the description. I've got the disclaimer now. Um, but if you do want to get in on any of these kind of crypto gains, then I would I would suggest speaking to Anwar. Um, I've got a a Coinbase uh, link down below. Um, 
that is basically that's an affiliate link. If you end up buying a hundred dollars worth of, uh, I believe Bitcoin, it might be it might be Ethereum and Litecoin as well. I don't quite know the answer to that, but when you spend a hundred dollars with them, you get an extra ten dollars, and I get an extra ten dollars. Uh, so not a huge amount, but think about ten dollars right now. Obviously, is about is is it's pretty much nearly nothing. It's about five hundred and fifty or five hundred satoshis, which is. 0.00054 of a Bitcoin. So it's not a huge amount of money, but if eventually Bitcoin goes crazy and it goes up to 100 grand, it goes up to a million, which it could do, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a fair amount of money for free. So um, that's kind of there if you, if you wanna use it. If you don't wanna use it, then, then don't use it. Uh, but guys, I hope, hopefully that makes sense. What I would like you to do though, if you have any recommendations of particularly ICOs to look at, um, I'm gonna be looking into one called um, the, I think it's Theta token. A um, really interesting thing, it's around video, uh, video streaming and stuff like that. It's got some people that are involved from Twitch and from YouTube. So um, that's something I'll be looking into. It's, it, the ICO is, is quite a way away, it's like 20 days away, so uh, loads of time to research it. Uh, but there's a few a few that I'd like to look into, a few that I'd like to punt some money on and just see if we can make a bit over the next few months. Of course, I'll document it for you guys along with everything I do. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think, if there's anything I should look out for, if there's any people particularly you want me to go and have a look at, I would suggest going and look at um, Ian Bellina and Anwar Griffiths. Anwar can actually help you, whereas Ian kind of can't. It's, you know, he's kind of not, not reachable. Um, but yeah, Anwar definitely, definitely is, so you can go and check him out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications for the free PayPal giveaways, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.